What's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here, giving the gameplay commentary for you guys. This is a fantastic, outstanding, biblical beastifying on Nuketown with the Olympia. If you guys have already seen this gameplay, you've probably been, you've probably were on um, the only Diablo's channel before it got hacked. Yeah, a friend of mine. If you guys saw his gameplay, it was the quick scoping on Zoo, I believe it was. His older channel, I posted a video. Well, actually, it wasn't my. I didn't post it myself. We did dual com, and it got posted on his channel right before it got hacked. I think about two, three days before it got hacked. So here's this. This is the same gameplay. It was a very good gameplay, and I thought I'd let you guys see it before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Now, for most of you, the game's already out. But see, I live over on the west coast, so I get everything later than you guys do. You guys in Australia, I hate you. I hate every last single one of you guys from Australia. But before Modern Warfare 3 comes out, I am going to be posting this gameplay and one other. The other gameplay is outstanding. And in that gameplay, I'm going to be talking about Death Streaks. Because if you see my teammates and some of the players in the team, you'll see why I believe Death Streaks are going to be a major problem in Modern Warfare 3. But in this video, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay because this is Black Ops and no one gives a rat's ass about Black Ops anymore. What I want to talk about, guys, is my plans for Modern Warfare 3 and what I'm going to be posting on my channel when Modern Warfare 3 is out. For starters, I want to talk about my Black my Black Ops weapon guides. Now, notice the Black Ops. Yes, I had a weapons guide series where I posted a video with every primary weapon and basically displayed how to use this weapon effectively. I kind of continue just to talk about those things because some of the things need to be reviewed because I got a lot more subscribers. But th that was like my, my first project on my channel. So it's when Monfer 3 comes out, I'm going to be doing my weapon guides all over again with the bl with the Monfer 3 weapons. I'm gonna. T it may take a while to do, guys, because I do have to use all the weapons and understand all their stats and memorize them all before I can actually sit in front of a computer and commentate for like 10 minutes about the gun. So I'm not going to be releasing one of these every day like I did with my Black Ops guns. But I'll try to finish all the block, um all the Monfort 3. Sorry guys, I'm getting kind of confused with the two. But I'm going to try to finish all the Monfort 3 weapon guides before the New Year's. New Year's, I don't, I don't know if I said the New Year's. But that's what I'm, I'm going to try to do guys. I can, I'm hoping I can be able to do that. The second thing I would like to do also that I want to do for Black Ops, but it was going to be kind of difficult to do it with all different classes and stuff, but I want to basically do an analysis of every map, because there's more than one way to play a map, and when I get into a map, I see, I see what gun I have, and I go, okay, this is what I want to do, because this is the best way to play this map with this sort of weapon. So with like an SMG or the shotgun, I'll play this style. When I'm using a light machine gun or an assault rifle, I'll play this style. And when I'm using a sniper rifle, I'll play this style. That's sort of what I think in my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, like I'm going to type, for example, one of the gameplays, or not the gameplays, but one of the map analysis, I'll name it. For example, if it was a Black Ops one, I would have named it Array Aggressive Gameplay. And I would have shown you guys how to play Array with an aggressive style. And then that's basically, I didn't do that, but I wanted to do that for Black Ops, but it was going to take a very long time to cover each map. So I'm going to be doing that. i probably post about one map a week. I'll try and do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens because you never know what map you're going to get on because that's what Call of Duty does to you. Battlefield's good in that sense because you can pick what map you want to play when you're searching. Call of Duty does not have that feature and that's another thing I would like to talk about guys is I am going to be getting Battlefield. Just not immediately because I wanted to save the cunny, the, not the cunny, the money I have for Modern Warfare 3 because I don't have that much at the moment. And that's brings up another topic. Man, so many topics. The money that I'm going to be getting from advertisements, guys, does not exist because I kind of got confused with all that money stuff. If I do make any money, guys, I'm not going to really use it for myself because I am i don't really need it, to be honest, guys. I live with my mom. I don't. She, has, she basically buys everything for me, so I don't really need anything. You probably are probably going yourself facepalm right now. Like, oh my god, this guy's such a mommy's boy. But no, I don't Like, I don't need anything. I don't. I mean, I'm not... Not selfish for guys, so if I get any money from this, I'm probably gonna donate to charity. So, I mean, if I can, that is. So, I mean, I don't like you, most of you guys are probably thinking to yourselves, like, now, like, what is this kid talking about? But, I mean, I don't need it, I don't. If I need anything, I could usually just earn it myself by doing like babysitting and stuff. And, I mean, there's some people in the world that don't have that, that privilege, so. Anyways, guys, that brings this gameplay to a close. So, if you guys like are excited for the block, the not the block, I gotta stop saying that. The Modern for three weapon guides, and the Modern for three wep, um, map analysis. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.